Today on Trendmaker, I've got another filament review for you. We're going to try out this Duramic 3D PLA Plus Glow-in-the-Dark Filament. Now, if you haven't heard of Duramic 3D, that's probably because they only started manufacturing filament in 2017, and it's really only been available in the United States since 2019. Um, I have recently seen these available on Amazon. I haven't tried it yet. Um, the company actually reached out to me to do this review. They sent me this roll, but I'm going to give you a 100% honest review of whether I think this filament is something you should consider for the future or something maybe you should pass on. Now we're going to go through a quick unboxing of this Duramic 3D glow-in-the-dark filament. Inside you can see we have the typical literature from the manufacturer and the spool itself, which is vacuum sealed with a little bit of desiccant inside. It's a really nice vacuum seal on this. It's one of the few spools I've opened recently where I can actually hear the air hissing as it's entering the packaging when pierced. The spool itself is rather thick and has a lot of nice little features to it. It has six of the safety stops to keep the roll from unspooling. And you can see it's nicely wound, not really overlapping back and forth. It looks nice and clean. We have a little gauge on the left for how many meters are left, a gauge on the right for how many grams are left, and the literature in the middle basically giving the temperatures, speeds recommended, bed temperature, etc. I've loaded up the Duramic 3D glow-in-the-dark filament on my stock Ender 3 Pro here. I'm running the manufacturer's recommendation here of 225 degrees for the nozzle. I'm running the bed at 50 degrees. Um, speed is at 40, although the first layer I believe is at 30. Um, I'm running at 0.24 millimeters resolution. And overall, to start with, it seems to be printing perfectly smooth. I'm not noticing any issues here. Uh, stock settings for PLA is what I basically ran. The only difference is I raised my temperature up to about 225 to start. It did okay at 0.24 and some of the infill, which was going a little faster. It did seem I got a couple little pops. I tightened up the extruder tension just a couple turns and that seemed to, to remedy that. I did find that at 235 though, it did have a little nicer flow and I thought I was getting just a little bit a better um, look to the prints. This is, you know, for my printer. Uh, I overall, I think it printed out really well. I did this um, little Roblox sign. My daughter's into Roblox. I did a Benchy, and this is just because if you know, I like to print something that I've printed before with other filaments to compare. And I had zero issues. You can see the bow here. You no, know, I've got my temperature. I got my fan right. I've got my little bridging there on the front. Looks great. The smokestack is perfectly great. The ironing on the deck looks great. So overall. You know, printed a Benchy with no issues whatsoever. I did a Flexi Cat straight off. Everything flexed nicely. Everything was bendable. Everything worked well. The top layer, you can see this was at 0.24. Just came out super smooth. I did a low poly Pikachu at 0.24 as well. And you can see came out absolutely perfect. There's this, the, just the color, the um, consistency looks really great. The only thing on this that's not perfect is just a little bit of that 0.24 layer lines at the top. You get a little bit of stair stepping, but that's the resolution I was running it at. And then for that Roblox sign, I took it up a level mid print. I paused it and added a little black just so it would pop. And let me just tell you at night, this glows looks so cool. So overall, I'm really happy with this uh, Duramic 3D filament. I think it uh, printed really well. It does have a little bit stiffer feel to it, so that's the first thing you kind of notice. It feels almost like a uh, carbon fiber, and I, I was just assuming that that's probably the phosphorus that they've had to add in the film, sort of like to give it the, the glow. Uh, the intensity of the glow was pretty amazing. Uh, it was really bright. I'll show you. You can see in the, the, the images and the video that I took, uh, the first hour, it just, whoa, it was really intense. It really looked like it had a light or an LED like highlighting it or glowing on it. So really intense for an hour. At every hour, I noticed about a 20, 25% decrease in the luminancy. So at the second hour, after two hours, it was, you know, probably about 60%. So it was still bright. Third hour, I noticed it was starting to lose its luminancy in a dark room, in a bedroom or something like that. You will notice it's still glowing. Four hours, it was just barely noticeable, you know, just a little bit noticeable. And then uh, about six hours to eight hours, it was pretty much gone. Now, I only charged this up for about an hour under one of my studio lights, so it did get a nice uh, blast of light for an hour. If you let it charge up longer, and that's what this sort of uh, phosphorus needs to do, you have to put it under a light, it sort of absorbs the energy, and then it'll give that luminancy. Um, so it does, you know, if you charge it up for three or four hours, you may get more intense effects. 
That's pretty much going to wrap up this video on the Duramic 3D PLA Plus Glow in the Dark Filament. I think overall it's a really nice for a glow in the dark filament. Done a super uh, job here. I am definitely going to try to get my hands on some more of their uh, traditional line of PLA and PETG as well as some of their silk products. Um, I will have links in the description for all that down below if you're interested. Any uh, purchases you make through the links down below do add a little contribution to the channel and at no additional cost to you. If you have any questions regarding this filament or any other 3D printing question, do me a favor, just leave a comment down below. I will try to get back to you within about 24 hours. If you haven't done so already, hit that like and subscribe down below. You know, it totally blows my mind. It gets me super excited to produce this content for you. But until that next video, I'm out.